Hello guys, today we're gonna be making some fermented pickles. Watch the video until the end to know how it works. So we're gonna be needing a jar which needs to be sterilized first before using it. So make sure you sterilize it with hot water or you can just clean it in hot water and leave it overnight or you can just clean it in dishwasher whatever you like. Then we're gonna be taking water and I'm gonna measure everything down. I'm gonna write the recipe down below. So we're gonna take some water and dilute 3% of salt in the water. Either you can also use 2% salt. So you're gonna measure the 2% by the weight of the water. And then we're gonna give it a nice mix until all the salt is dissolved correctly. And what's the next thing you need to do is you need to find some uh, whatever you like spices or herbs or whatever you like so I'm gonna be adding some garlic because I like garlic and I'm gonna adding some dill make sure you don't leave the whole stem just leave the top of the dill so it's just flavor some you can use either more herbs like chervil or parsley or whatever you like so I like my pickles to be spicy so I'm gonna add some peppercorn, some fennel seeds, whatever kind of spices you need, mustard, whatever, it's totally up to you. What you desire, you can add some chili flakes, whatever, it's totally up to you. You can also do it without the spices, it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna be grinding the spices in the mortar, it's totally up to you. If you can also use a normal mixer or grinder, whatever you like. So you're gonna take the spice out in the bowl and see how much we need you don't need to add all of it just up to you how much you need add a handful of it don't over spice it because you need to have a decent amount of cucumber in there so give it a good mix until you see all the foaming stuff coming up and after that we're gonna be using some cucumbers we're gonna just wash the cucumbers in cold water and not scrub it because uh, the skin is really important for lacto-fermentation. Through this recipe you can basically ferment any vegetable you want. Exactly, any vegetable, I mean. So you can either just cut the cucumbers in slices if you like. I'm using whole cucumbers because I use spices in it. If you're using normal cucumbers, like sliced cucumbers, you shouldn't add too much spice in it. Otherwise it's gonna be really spicy. So after that just you know put some weight on top because it's really important for the cucumbers to be totally dissolved in the solution to get a total fermentation otherwise the down one is quite fermented and upper ones have a really bad uh, smell so it's better to dilute all of it all together so I'm just using something that's small and it's easy to fit in the container as you can see it's totally on top and there's so much water so I'm just gonna take some out of it so it doesn't matter it's totally okay to take some out it just needs to be dissolved so I'm just gonna leave it for a week in there and gonna taste it how it tastes for me one week is enough for me some people like to do 10 days so this is how it looks after it's done I'm just gonna open the lid and let's see how does it look. First of all, you can see the color. 